This is Eugene Panrutkiewicz. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP Chromebook 11 G5, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an HP Chromebook 11 G5. A couple of things before we start. Um, there is our G1 through G5 versions of this Chromebook. This video is for the G5 non-touch. There's also a version of the touch screen which I'll do a video later but this is for a non-touch. Also G1 and G2 use a different type of screen and the procedure is different for this one than the G3 and G4. So to identify the correct model we look on the bottom of the laptop and there in very small writing it says HP Chromebook 11 G5. Okay, when you open and close a Chromebook, it's going to turn on, except in this case. So if it does turn on, you, want, you either want to turn off it inside the operating system or with the power button here before working on the laptop. Next, we're going to go over the tools. We have a PH1 electronic screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips, and 1 is the size. We have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. Uh, it's just a smaller size. We have a pair of metal tweezers to remove stuck screws and manipulate cables. And we have a hobby knife to lift up adhesive tape. Finally, we have a spudger, metal spudger, for prying things open. First thing you have to do is to remove the plastic screen cover, or the plastic screen frame, also called the bezel. In the earlier versions of this laptop, there were some screws be hiding behind some screw covers. In this version of the laptop, there's no screw covers, so you just snap the screen bezel off. And that's what I'm going to do right now. It's a little bit hard to find a place to get a good grip, but if you search with your fingernails, you'll find a place where you can slightly lift up the bezel and then lift up and out from the outside and then just snap the screen bezel open like so and on the bottom also so to get it off the bottom you have to maybe open and close it manipulate it a little bit and it finally comes out next step we want to do is to remove the screen from the screen assembly and there's four screws that we have to remove two up here and two down here so we use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the four screws. Since there's only four screws that we have to remove in this case, we don't have to keep track of which screws go where. So we just remove them and put them in a small pile. When we do this, make sure the laptop screen is tilted back a little bit so it doesn't the screen doesn't fall forward when you remove all the screws. Okay, once the screws are all removed, we gently grab the screen by the metal tabs and lower it on the screen assembly. When we do this, we want to make sure we don't press the power button accidentally so the laptop does not turn on. Next step is to remove this connector and to do that we lift up the adhesive tape. We use our hobby knife to lift up the tape a little bit until we can grab it with our fingertips and then we lift up the adhesive tape like so and then fold it back and then gently grab the connector from the back and then slide it out like so and the screen is disconnected. I'm going to reconnect the connector to show you. You slide the connector back in. You'll feel but not hear two clicks. So let's get a close-up of a properly connected connection. This is what it should look like when it's properly connected. There should not be in the gap, a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection and the two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. So let's pull the connector out and let's take a look at the screen. The part number for this particular screen is N116BGE-E32. 
So when you do get your screen in, uh, it might not, you won't necessarily have the same part number, but it should be the same. The connector is an EDP 30 pin connector on the bottom right. There's mounting tabs on the side and the finish on the screen is matte rather than glossy. So there's uh, quite a few different part numbers for this particular screen. It's very popular, but uh, it, should, it should be compatible. You can order this screen from us from Screen Surgeons and what you get with us is this exact same toolkit that I used in this video. It comes for free with the screen for you to install and we also offer free shipping within the United States. Uh, to place an order, uh, go to our site www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out which will guide you to buy the right screen online. Uh, this particular model is also frequently used by schools and we work with school districts around the country and around the world and we have uh, bulk pricing and special support for school districts and also accept purchase orders. So if you are with a school or a school district go to our website uh, www.screensurgeons.com on the, on the top there should be a link that says schools and then that will guide you to fill out a form online and we will respond to you with all the details for purchasing from us. Once you do get the screen in, uh, reconnect it like I showed you, put the adhesive tape back on, mount the screen in the screen assembly, put the two screws in at the top and two at the bottom, and then snap the screen bezel back on and that should be it. Okay, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.